Hi, I'm Caroline Cooper from Naturally Loyal and today I'd like to talk to you about how to deal with angry or upset customers. Now it doesn't matter how good we are in our business, occasionally we're going to get customers who are unhappy and whether it's down to us or whether it's down to user error or maybe it's something completely out of our control, the way that we deal with it is the most important aspect because if we deal with it in a positive way then they'll remember how we dealt with it rather than what the problem was. And of course, what the last thing that we want people to do, if we don't deal with it effectively, the chances are that they're going to go on to a review site or social media and tell the whole world. So, here are five proven steps which will help you to deal with customer complaints. And they make up the acronym LEARN. So the L is for listen and listening actively to your customer to first of all understand what the complaint is because we can't deal with it if we don't understand what it is. So that helps us. But most importantly, by listening actively, that allows the customer just to get it off their chest. Allow them time to talk it through and really for you to understand what the problem is. And the mere fact that you've listened and that you show that you're understanding will work wonders. Now, while you're doing that, what we, want, what we need to be careful of is to think about our reaction because it's very easy at that point to start getting defensive. We might hear things which are nothing to do with us. That's not the issue. We just need to let them talk about it and listen. The second point is E, which is for empathy. And this is trying to get into our customer's shoes. So if it's down to us and we've made a mistake, put your hand up, admit it. If it's not down to us, maybe it's down to user error. Maybe it's something that they've done or they have failed to do. This isn't about pointing the finger or scoring points. This is more about thinking about, well, what can we be doing to resolve it? So show some empathy from their perspective. How would they be feeling? Or how would you be feeling if you were in their shoes? A is for agree and acceptable outcome. And the emphasis here is on acceptable. And that needs to be acceptable for both parties. This isn't for a customer to be demanding that the world or the earth and leaving you uh, you know, broke in the process. Uh, it's got to be something that's fair for both parties. Now, what's very easy to do is for, we say, okay, well, here's a solution, you take it or leave it. Allow the customer to feel that they're still in control of the situation. So offer a couple of alternatives. Um, and even if you only give them two options, at least the customer feels there is an element of control. The R is for resolving it. So having agreed what you're going to do, then make sure that you then follow that through. And now if that's gonna be a lengthy process, then keep the customer informed about how things are progressing. And then when you think it's been resolved, just check that from the customer's perspective, they are now happy with the outcome. And then finally, the N is for next steps. I mean, the beauty about somebody complaining directly to you is that you're in a position to do something about it. And one of the things that we can be doing is by making sure it doesn't happen again. Now, if that's down to us, maybe it's the systems or processes, what do we need to be doing? If it's down to user error, down to the customer, what do we need to be doing or what can we be doing if that's a mistake that the customer has made? What can we be doing to prevent the customer, other future customers from making similar mistakes in the future? And maybe it's something that's completely out of our control, such as uh, if somebody's got lost trying to find you uh, because through or road signage or maybe it's the weather, what can we be doing to try and alleviate that and reduce the um, impact that that might have in future. So that's five elements, L-E-A-R-N, listen, empathise, agree, an acceptable option, acceptable option, resolve the problem and take next steps. Now all of this is great if you know how to do it but it's also imperative that your team know how to deal with these situations as well because the worst thing for a customer to hear from a member of your team is ah oh, well sorry no I don't have the authority to deal with that I need to go and get my manager so give them the skills as well show them this video if you like give them those five stages and that will help you to minimize the impact of complaints so that's all for me for now that's Caroline Cooper naturally lawyer if you'd like more tips like this then head on over to my website which is www.naturallyloyal.com Bye for now.